So earlier today, we talked about a possible two-week lockdown. Right now, we need to talk about businesses and schools that are closing due to a specific virus. Now, I want to be very clear on this, that what we are seeing is, is not in, in every single state. It's not every single city. Um, however, they are mostly Democratic states, Democratic cities. Okay? Here's what's happening. Right now, schools and businesses are closing down temporarily because they're worried about the surge of COVID cases. Keep in mind right now, schools are now coming back into session. More kids are coming back to class. That is what we're seeing. Okay, that makes sense, right? All these people are coming back to school and now we're seeing COVID cases surge. Makes sense, right? I think everyone could have predicted that. It's not a secret. It's not something that uh, was just you know unexpected. We knew it was going to happen. As people converge, chances are if one person has COVID, more people will get it. One person has the flu, more people are going to get it. One person has a certain virus, more people are going to get it. Right? It's just that simple. Right? Simple math. Now, here's why I'm bringing this to your attention today. We are seeing a surge of COVID cases all over the place. We are seeing weather change. People are now congregating indoors, uh, especially today's Labor Day weekend or the start of Labor Day weekend. So obviously more people out there traveling and, and spending time with friends and family. And, and this is their last big event before um, right, summer's over. This is the end of summer, right? Most people look for this, this big day, this big weekend, and they do some big event, right? I get it, great. But here's the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention right now. Experts worry that this recent surge is going to result in more hospitalizations and deaths if we don't take it a little more seriously. Now, we don't have to take it extremely. Um, it, it doesn't have to go back to 2000 to 2020 again. We don't have to do any of that, but we need to be a little more vigilant as to how we conduct ourselves. Here's what they're saying. If you have a, a cold, if you have a, right, you have COVID symptoms, flu symptoms, just stay home, right? Just stay home. You'll be okay. But most people aren't. Most people don't want to miss the first day of school. They don't want to miss uh, an important day of work. So they're, they're going to work. They're going to school, right? Makes sense. I think we all do it. <clears throat> but here's why I think it's very interesting. Experts are now saying <clears throat> that we are experiencing new COVID variants. <clears throat> Excuse me. As a result, <clears throat> more and more people are, are getting uh, infected. Right? More and more people are getting uh, certain symptoms. Right? Some of them are consistent with uh, right, the, the previous COVID um, you know, uh, variant. But again, new ones are popping up all the time. But here's why I'm bringing this to your attention today. And again, it's not for you to worry. It's not for you to um, go and spread this and be like, oh, we, you know, we got to vote Democrats in because uh, you know, they're the ones that you know, did stuff and gave us stimulus and all that during the last election. Right? No, that's not why. Here's the reason why. Why are, why are schools and businesses closing? Okay. According to experts, this is why. They are closing because of lack of workers. Okay. They don't have enough workers. They're, they're calling in. I, I went to, uh, what was it, a KFC. Uh, yeah, it was a KFC uh, probably a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. And I went to KFC and it said on the door, big sign on the door, um, uh, indoor dining or dine-in closed. Please use drive through And I asked the worker, what's that about? And he simply said, well, you know, we have workers out due to COVID. So we don't have enough workers to run the, the dining room. Okay, makes sense. I've seen it at stores, um, little, like smaller stores, little retail stores, shoe stores. They're closed. All their workers are sick. Right? All, this, all their workers have COVID. Please come back in a week. A, a business is going to be closed for one week because they don't have enough workers. Yeah. They can't hire new workers, not in, in a day. Right? And so, again, it's a problem. So that's number one. Uh, businesses are closed because of lack of workers. Schools also closed. Uh, I've seen stories uh, on the Internet where uh, teachers have tried to get substitutes. And the substitutes and even the teachers themselves are sick. Right? And it could be COVID. It could be, uh, you know, just a common cold. 
It could be that they they have uh, you know summer fever and they don't want to come back to work, right? Could be any of those things. But here's what I think is interesting. Okay, another one: uh, schools uh, are closed because they're trying to reduce the spread to children. And I get this: children and the elderly are the most vulnerable to uh, things like COVID and certain viruses, especially in airborne disease, <clears throat> airborne illness. But uh, that's the thing: like, how do how long do you protect somebody? How long does the school stay closed? Uh, just the schools over in uh, what Alabama and and Tennessee shut down because they had a surge in COVID cases. What do we consider a surge nowadays? Do we consider a surge 50% of the population? A surge, is it 5%? Is it 1%? How many, right? We don't know. I'm, I'm still, we're four years into this and I still have no clue how we define a surge because everybody defines it differently. But here's what an insider had to say. This insider says, they are closing schools and businesses because they're worried more about another virus. Not COVID, but they can't tell the American people that because they don't know which virus is the most severe at this time. Again, they are worried about another virus. And we've heard this before. We heard this um, a couple years ago where people and billionaires like Bill Gates and others we're coming and calling out the next the next pandemic, right? Pandemic 2.0, right? And it was coming in 2025. Well, the last I checked, we're today's Saturday, August 31st, and we only have a few more months before the end of 2024, which means it will be 2025. And at that point, what do we do? At that point, what virus will be the next one that's going to take all of our lives, right? That's the big question. So again, when this insider comes out and says that they are uh, more worried about another virus and not COVID, that's the reason why they're locking down. They don't want that new virus to spread or that new variant of whatever it may be to uh, mutate so that it uh, you know, goes around any potential shot that we have. Makes sense. But again, they don't want the American people to know that. Why? Why would you not want the American people to know that they are concerned about another potential virus? Well, it's simple. What do we have on November 5th, right? We got September, we got October, and we got five days in November. What is that, like 60 some days left until our election, where it's gonna be a monumental election. We're gonna have a new president. Uh, it will either be at this time, former President Donald Trump, or it could be current Vice President Kamala Harris. Again, we have no clue who it's gonna be. But what we do know is either one of them is going to run the country differently than what Joe Biden has done. If it is former President Donald Trump, he will be the one running the country. If it is current Vice President Kamala Harris, my guess is, based off of what we've already seen, is that Democrats as a whole will be running the country not necessarily her. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you right now is just expect we are gonna see more closures. We are gonna see additional um, you know, curfews and potential lockdowns because of all the, the different illnesses that are going around right now. But here's the good news. This shouldn't last long, okay? There's uh, obviously that do not comply um, you know, hashtag that's been going around. That's gonna kind of you know, slow a lot of this, these closures down. But the other one that's going to slow these closures down is people are going to push back on a business that closes down. People are going to push back on a school that closes down. So just be aware of that, that yes, you may be on one side or the other, but there's more people that are going to go against a lockdown or a closure than that are going to go for it. So we'll see what happens moving forward. But the one thing I can tell you is I will be here every step of the way and I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. So again, Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.